Would you like an LLM with its own internal monologue? An LLM that talks to itself before answering to you. An LLM that thinks before speaking. That is possible and that model is called Quiet Star. It's it's not necessarily like a new model from scratch. It's an approach that the researchers from Stanford University and a bunch of other institute have come up with where they are saying that if you design a model a language model just the normal large language model which can think before speaking which can have rationals behind what it does the large language model might be able to do difficult task with much more ease without having to be trained or fine tuned specifically on that particular data set for example If you want a large language model to solve math tasks, you don't necessarily have to fine tune the large language model on the math task. Rather, you can just teach the large language model to have a rational how to solve a math task. I mean, this is quite unbelievably brilliant to be honest, and that is the paper that we are going to see today. Quiet Star language models can teach themselves to think before speaking. Now let's go into the abstract of the paper and I kind of like the abstract it's slightly philosophical and also scientific when writing and talking people sometimes pause to think like humans normally you like to think and then talk and that's how most people talk all the reasoning focused works have often framed reasoning as a method of answering questions or completing agentic tasks reasoning is implicit in almost all written text you reason and then you write it for example this applies to the steps not slated between the lines of proof or to the theory of mind underlying conversation in the self taught reasoner star model that was introduced in 2022 by zelikman et al useful thinking is learned by inferring rationals from few short examples in question and answering and learning from those that led to the correct answer so what they are saying is that there was a, an approach called star and that said that useful thinking is learned by inferring rationals or rationals rationals from few short examples in question and answering learning from those that led to the correct answer so technically you need to give a model the ability to learn how to arrive at a correct answer than just giving the correct answer i'll draw a parallel to an open ai leak sometime back that was discussing this approach when people were discussing q star this q star has nothing to do with open ai q star but there is some commonality between what they are trying to do here this is a highly constrained setting ideally a language model could instead learn to infer unstated rationals in arbitrary text not necessarily a particular task we present quiet star a generalization of star in which large language models or language models learn to generate its own rationals at each token to explain a future text improving their prediction so before producing the future text the large language model has to generate a rational that would explain why or what future text it has to predict the key challenges that they are addressing is one the computational cost of generating continuations because it's going to be computationally more expensive the fact that a la- language model does not initially know how to generate or use internal thoughts the need to predict beyond individual next tokens they're going to make the language model predict the entire generation rather than just the next token to resolve this we propose a token wise parallel sampling algorithm we are not going to get into the deep of the algorithm except we are going to see high level using learnable tokens indicating a thoughts start and end and an extended teacher forcing technique encouragingly generated rationals disproportionately help model difficult to parallel sorry difficult to predict tokens and improve lm's ability to directly answer difficult questions so what they have found out is that the generated rationals not the next token the rationals has helped the model disproportionately like to the extent to model difficult to predict tokens so the difficult to predict tokens have become easier for the model to answer and this has improved the lms language models ability to directly answer difficult questions 
in particular after continued pre-training of a large model on a corpus of internet text with QSTAR. So this is not fine tuning. This is continued pre-training of an existing large model on a corpus of internal text. It's not a fine tuning on a particular task. That's that's where the difference is. So it's a pre-training, continued pre-training of a large language model. In this case, the model that they're using is Mistral 7 billion parameter model with Q star or quiet star. We find that the zero shot improvements on GSM 8K from 5.9% to 10.9% and common sense QA from 36.3% to 47.2%. And there is also an Im increase uh, improvement in the perplexity. Crucially, these improvements require no fine tuning on these tasks. So these, the model that they're describing is not fine tuned on these particular tasks, whether it is math like GSM 8K or common sense QA. It's continued pre-training on general internet text, like generally. And that improved these benchmarks without explicitly fine tuning these models on bench, these benchmarks, which indicates that the language model learnt to reason in a more general and scalable way. And I absolutely love this quote on this paper. Life can be only understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. I feel like I'm watching Tenet movie anyways. Much of the meaning of a text is hidden between the lines and without understanding why statements appear in a document, a reader has only a shallow understanding. This is indicating what has been missing in the language model world currently. Language models generate next token, but it does not have necessary understanding of why it has to generate. It looks at a pattern and then it generates. It doesn't have the rational, or rational, rational uh, intention, understanding, reason, detail behind why it has to generate the next token in such a way to do it. This model, the quiet star here has three different stages. Think, talk, learn. For example, if you have got a problem that says 42 plus 12 is equal to, how do you think the model will arrive at 54? First, the model has to think. What is it thinking? It uses the parallel uh, sampling approach that they mentioned. It takes all the tokens and then it tries to think and then come up with a solution. And that is where the thoughts in parallel following all tokens in text, it generates all these thoughts. The model then produces a mixture of its next token prediction with and without a talk. So first it thinks, after it thinks, it produces the next token prediction, one with, the, with what it thought, the rational, second without the rational in itself. And then finally, there is a learning step where they introduce something called reinforce. This increases the likelihood of the thoughts that help the model to predict the future token while discarding the thoughts that make the future text less likely. So they are going to use the reinforcement step in this case to tell the difference between the rational that helped the model to predict the next token easily versus the rational or something that predicted without much improvement. So whatever helps the prediction is kept rewarded, whatever harms the prediction is discarded. This is done again and again iteratively and that is how Q Quiet Star actually works. And this goes into a lot of detail and you should definitely read otherwise like if I cover all these things the paper will become much larger like uh, it will be like a half an hour video altogether. But quite broadly, like if you are just generally talking about it, they take the star algorithm, whatever that is, and they generally train the large language model, continued pre-training the large language model to generate a reasoning that helps to infer the future text from the large internet corpus. So you're not specifically fine tuning, just the internet, like random text from the internet is going to help the model in performing specific tasks. And that is happening because we leverage the large language models existing reasoning capability ability to generate rationals and train the large language models on them with a reinforced based reward. Quiet star as it can be understood as applying star quietly and training the model to think before it speaks. Broadly quiet star proceeds by generating rationals after every token to explain the future text that is the think step mixing the future text predictions with and without rationals that is the talk step 
and then learning to generate better rationals using reinforce that is the learn step and everything that they have done here is done on mistral 7 billion parameter model and you can see how the model does better in terms of the accuracy of the benchmark when you have got more thoughts to the model like when you have got more thoughts when you have got more tokens that the model predicts ahead instead of you know going token by token and you can see it definitely improves and this is the algorithm that if you want they take the raw la language model and the output that they want to create is a language model that generates rationals to predict future ticks that's what they are trying to build they are not trying to build a language model that solves the problem they are trying to build a language model that can generate rationals to solve the problem and uh, ultimately what they are going to use is they are going to use the log likelihood and also the reinforce so the token there are these two things that they are going to use to say which thing help the model to reason better and they are rewarding the model based on that updating the model parameters and then continuing continuing the training process and that they figured out that increases if you talk technically uh, the the objective function here is that they are trying to aim to optimize the language model with parameters uh, theta that is the base language model with the capacity to generate intermediate thoughts or rationals and uh, that is what they are introducing rational more broadly reasoning allows a model to decompose a challenging computation into smaller step at this point you might think that is it as a same as chain of thought reasoning in fact the paper claims that this is not as same as chain of thought reasoning in fact chain of thought reasoning and this is quite orthogonal which means that chain of thought reasoning can help the model this this quiet star model to do much better so that's what they're saying it could be complementary so uh, we note that while there are natural parallels between chain of thought prompting co2 prompting and our approach they are essentially orthogonal um, chain of thought is very explicit think out loud but this is think quietly at every token before even it generates so the next generation is actually aided by the previous token that it thought about it the rational and it is quite complementary and they said also that there is nothing that prevents from allowing the model to think before outputting each token of the rational so it could be combined with chain of thought and it could do better with that so one of the example that you can see here is that the dark green here the green here indicates that the thought that the model generated the rational that the model generated made this particular token generation easier so had the thought was not there this wouldn't have been easier and the yellow color one uh, indicates that it is harder to predict so and you can see the uh, darkness uh, opacity so more impactful thoughts have higher opacity so you can see that this model has quite a good impact in how it generates um, thanks to the rationals that this model has learned to generate and you can see much more information but before i conclude this video i wanted to quickly highlight some uh, limitations that you have got and we'll see some examples one this is going to have a substantial overhead this means generating many tokens before generating every additional token so before even you generate like for example if somebody the person is running uh, if you were to generate ing before that you have to generate thought and you have to understand whether it is useful then you have to vote or you have to use uh, the log likelihood and reinforce and then you have to generate the additional token so there is a substantial overhead and also it will be valuable to understand whether these techniques work when a model is trained from scratch right now they are doing continued pre training but they don't know whether it can be helpful if they train it from scratch these are the limitations and the example that i wanted to show is uh, very interesting to be honest so they have taken one random question from gsm 8k and first they send it to the base mistral 7 billion without anything second they send it to the mistral that is fine tuned with open web math which is to specifically solve this task and third they send it to their own model which is the quiet star trained mistral 7 billion i'm not going to go into other ones but i'm going to just go through this particular response it's very interesting to see how the model can produce a right answer so the question is this Janet's duck ducks lay 16 eggs per day and she eats 3 eggs uh, for breakfast that means 3 is gone 16 minus 3 is 13 every morning and bakes muffins for her friends every day with 4 so 16 minus 3 is 13 13 minus 4 is 9 she sells the remainder which is 9 at the farmers market daily for 2 dollar per fresh duck egg so 
which is like 9 into 2 in this case is must be 18. How much in dollars does she make every day at the farmer's market? Let's think step by step. The answer starts like this. That this is this is their model. That's something you need to keep in mind. The duck lays 16 eggs per day. Cool. And then it also the model tells itself that this is the total number of eggs. This is very different from if you see even the fine tuning model or even the base model. The, the approach like I would strongly encourage you to read the paper and compare this. The way this model reasons is very, very different, very different from how it reasons. And it's very interesting to see that the model can reason. And uh, three of the eggs are eaten for breakfast. Cool. And uh, the number of eggs, uh, this is the number of eggs that are eaten. Then four of the eggs are used to make muffin. So 16 minus three minus four is equal to nine. So nine into two is 18. And it says, okay, nine of the total eggs are sold to the farmer's market. The value is $2. That is the price of each egg. The total price of the eggs is 18. And you can see multiple other responses. Some did not work well, some worked well. And um, it is honestly like very interesting to see how the model might reason and then come up with. So one thing that you need to understand, this does not mean the model is like AGI or something like that. This just means that what you're trying to do is you're actually trying to do what you do with human being. And at least like when I teach, I don't teach people to with exact answer, I teach people how to arrive at the exact answer. And that is very important. And uh, that is one of the things that have made reinforcement learning popular because reinforcement learning, when, when it came, it never taught the right answer. It rewarded the process of arriving at the right answer. And this paper seems to be exploring that part. And the open AI parallel that I was going to say is even open AI had this blog post that explained that how they try to teach intermediate steps to a model and that finally improved the final outcome of the model. It's not the final outcome that they trained it on. It's the intermediate steps that they taught and that kind of like exploded. And in my Q star video, I referred to it. I'll link the video in the YouTube description for you to check it out. But either way, I think this is super interesting paper. Um, you can definitely spend like two, three hours reading it. And uh, I kind of enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section, what do you feel about it? Uh, see you in another video. Happy prompting.